Let's look at the difference between accounting profits and economic profits. The first table that you see in front of you deals specifically with accounting profits. Now, accounting profits is nothing more than taking sales as, in this case, $100,000. Sales would be also referred to as revenues. And then from sales, we would subtract off expenses. And these are what we refer to as direct expenses. Once again, be mindful of the fact that we're looking at accounting profits or business profits. So sales of $100,000 minus expenses, which would be direct as indicated here, rent, utilities, wages, etc. And you can see that we have $25,000 left over. And traditionally from the business sense or from an accounting standpoint, we have what is referred to as profits. And what I've identified here is accounting profits, nothing more than sales greater than expenses. Of course, if sales happen to be less than expend expenditures, we would end up with accounting losses. But in this particular example, we have accounting profits. Now let me move on to economic profits. And in economic profits, we have a slight difference. Same type of an example in regard to sales coming in at $100,000. Still looks at that direct expenditures, which would be rent, utilities, wages, etc. And that's $75,000. And then we have a new row here. And this is what I refer to as indirect expenditures or economic costs or opportunity costs. And, and why this is significant in, in economics is simply due to the fact that, from an economist standpoint, is that if we're assuming that we have an individual here, and let's just say an individual, uh, once this is a startup business, this individual had been previously working for someone else, or it could be we have an investor that wants to make an investment that has some excess uh, financial capital and wants to invest. But let's assume that this is an individual that, an entrepreneur, an individual that just wants to start up his own business, and this individual previously uh, was making $25,000. Let's assume that, uh, uh, from your perspective, uh, maybe a teacher, and this particular individual who had been a teacher, had been making $25,000, now wants to start his or her own business. So when we look at economic costs or an opportunity cost, which is an indirect expense, what we are saying is that if this individual did not start up this business, this individual could still be earning, say, could still be in the classroom, could still be teaching and earning $25,000. So from an economic standpoint, we have to include that $25,000 as a so-called opportunity cost. Now, when we take sales of $100,000 and when we take direct expenditures of $75,000, we must also include this indirect expense, this opportunity cost, what this teacher could have been earning if this teacher remained uh, in the classroom, $25,000. So, when we take the $100,000 minus $75,000 minus $25,000, we end up with zero. And in economics, we refer to that as a normal profit. That's okay. Because really what we have done, we have already allocated, you might say, a salary, a profit of $25,000 to this particular individual. So when we look at really what an economic profit is, an economic profit would be if sales are greater than both direct and indirect expenditures. And that's economic profits. That is over and above what is needed to stay in business. When we have this underlying concept of normal profits, which is nothing more than sales, equals direct plus indirect expenditures, it looks like zero. So we're, we're okay. So the main thing when we focus on economic profits, uh, it's always sales is greater than direct plus indirect. And normal profits would be sales is equal to direct and indirect. But the underlying concept that I want you to focus in on 
and, and really become familiar with these indirect expenditures. Indirect expenditures would be an opportunity cost. And in this particular example, what this particular, we'll say, individual, this particular individual has foregone. This individual has foregone a salary in whatever school system or school district that he or she is teaching at $25,000. And he or she goes out and starts up, in this case, this business, that is an expense. And from an economic standpoint or from an economist's perspective, we must include that. So that's just something I want you to focus in on, the difference really between accounting profits and economic profits. And hopefully this illustration helps you in, uh, in your learning uh, for this week.